Welcome back. A shocking new study has revealed the average bottle of water contains nearly a quarter of a million invisible pieces of nanoplastics. Yeah, experts don't know exactly how bad nanoplastics are for our health, but researchers say they carry more than 100 cancer-causing chemicals. Now, here to unpack that is dietitian Karina Savage. Karina, plastic drink bottles, are they bad for us? Good morning to you both. Well, look, I think this new uh, research is quite, well, has really shed some new light on this whole um, topic because plastic does shed. And we know about microplastics, but this new technology is now able to detect nanoplastics, which are tiny, tiny, tiny. You can't even see them, but it's now detecting nanoplastics in much higher quantities than we once knew. And um, these nanoplastics are more harmful to human health than microplastics because they can permeate the cells a lot more easily. They can travel through the blood. They can get into cells and tissues and organs. And that's why people are more concerned. Gosh, we even, you know, you think about if you leave it in the car, but we don't know how they've been transported either. Mm. Yeah. You know, and what sort of heat that they're in. And heat will also impact on how much it sheds and how many nanoparticles are in, and nanoplastics, I should say, are in, in our water. Yeah. Okay. So what are the alternatives? So if you're wanting to reduce your plastic consumption and also help the environment, so reducing you know, plastic bottles in the environment, we do have aluminium. But the thing is with aluminium, it's not a food grade metal, so it still does have a plastic lining for aluminium water bottles. Mm. So you still do have some plastic there. Right. So that's something that, yeah, I don't think, you, you look at it and you see it's yeah. metal, you don't realise that there's actually a plastic coating. So that's not great. So the best options are stainless steel and glass, yes. Mm. But with anything that you are putting food or water in, like, you know, you wash your dishes, you do want to wash your water bottles to reduce the risk of bacteria or anything growing in your water bottles. So pop them in the dishwasher once a week or wash them in your sink so that we're keeping, you know, our water fresh. So the thing is that, that we hear nanoplastics and think, oh, my God, that sounds mm. horrific. We don't actually know what effect exactly that they're having on the body, just that nanoplastics in general are not great. Yeah, so we know that they are more reactive and inflammatory than microplastics and they tend to accumulate more easily in the body. And so researchers are, I think, there will be a lot more research going on after this um, to look at the actual health effects and, and we'll be able to draw some more you know, direct links to health effects and risks later, but more research needs to occur before right. that happens. And Corinna, you talked about bacteria before. Mm. How, how bad is that, number one? And, and number two, how often do you need to wash your bottle to avoid that? Look, I would wash at least once a week. So I think, you know, most of us, myself included, probably wouldn't wash it that often. <laughs> so I think starting with once a week, perhaps even more often if you want to really reduce any risk of bugs. But I think, you know, the risk of bacteria in your water bottle if you're washing it once a week is very low. So I think start with that and uh, that would be, uh, that's probably the safest option for water bottles. Lovely, Karina. Yeah. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thanks very much.